grade 5 math, number 7.1. Now we're going to multiply fractions, and in this video we're going to find parts of a group. We're going to use models or drawings. Emma baked 24 cupcakes. Three-fourths of the cupcakes had chocolate icing. The rest had vanilla. How many had chocolate? So we need to find three-fourths of the 24. So what we do is we draw 24 circles to represent cupcakes, and we split them into groups into four equal groups. Why did we make four equal groups? Because the denominator is a four, okay? And three of the four groups are chocolate, so we need four equal groups. So we end up circling six four times. So there's six in each of our four groups. Well, if three-fourths of them are chocolate, that means three groups of the four are chocolate. So that means these three are chocolate, and this is one-fourth, it's not chocolate, it's vanilla. So how many cupcakes are in these three groups? We count them up. Six times three is 18. So three-fourths of 24 is 18. See, 18 24ths is equal to three-fourths. 18 out of 24 is equal to three-fourths. So 18 cupcakes are chocolate, see? Bob collects baseball hats. So far, he has five-sixths of the hats of the 30 National and American League teams. So he's missing some, isn't he? So how many of the hats does he have if he's got five-sixths of them? So we need to find five-sixths of 30. So because our denominator is a six, we're going to make six equal groups, and we're going to use tally marks to represent the hats, and we're going to draw 30 tally marks. Then we're going to circle and make group six equal groups. Well, we found out that when we drew 30 tally marks to represent the hats, to make six equal groups, there were five in each group. So we know that if he had five-sixths of these, we'd have five of these. One, two, three, four, five of the six groups. How many tally marks are in those five groups? There's 25. See? Five times five is 25. So we know 25 out of 30 is equal to five-sixths. So we know he has 25 hats. See? So we can use tally marks. We could, we could have used circles to represent the hats, okay? If you saw three times, three-fourths times six, what we could do is make six groups of four, see? We know they're going to be groups of four because the denominator is a four, and we need six of them. So what we do, because it's easier to do it this way, just make groups of four because the denominator is four. So I made six times, I made four dots. Then to represent the three-fourths, I only circled three out of the four dots. So each one of these six is equal to three-fourths. Each one of these. By circling only three out of the four, I made a three-fourth. Now I can do it six times. See? Six times. Now I can add the dots that are within the circle, and I get 18. So I know that 18 of these dots is going to be over a four denominator, okay? Because I have 18 fourths. Three-fourths and three-fourths and three-fourths six times is going to make 18 fourths. So now we've got 18 fourths, but we, it's an improper fraction. We need to turn it into a regular number. Well, I know that 4 fourths is equal to 1, and I can do that 4 times because 4 times 4 is 16. Then there'll be 2 left over to get to 18. So that's 4 whole ones and 2 fourths. 2 fourths is equal to a half. So I know that 3 fourths times 6 is equal to 4 and a half. See? Now there's ways of doing this with just numbers. To blow your mind, we could have gone 6 times 3 is 18 over the 4, but then you would have known why, you would have known how to do it number-wise, but you wouldn't have understand why it equaled 18 fourths. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're not trying to teach you how to solve it. We're trying to show you why, when you solve it, what it means, okay? 
And I know that sounds crazy, but if you just learn how to do it number-wise and you don't understand what the numbers mean, you're going to forget how to do it. And that's why people say, oh, you know, I don't use math, so I forget how to do it. Well, it's because you never fully understood the why when you learned the how, okay? We're trying to teach you the why so you'll always remember the how, okay? See you next video. Bye.